Thank you very much, Madam President, Commissioner, dear colleagues. We are debating now the budget of the European Union for the year 2020. This has two particularities. Firstly, it is the last year of the current MFF, and secondly, it is the first year after the European elections. Being the last year of the current MFF means that the that money is finally flowing to member states. It means that we need to pay many bills and this is why my kind request to the Council is we have to make sure that the Union is equipped with enough resources that we are able to pay our bills. There is no worse signal that we can give to the beneficiaries, to the people, to the cities, to the villages, to the SMEs of Europe than a Union not capable of paying its bills. It's not possible that at the beginning of the MFF we need to put pressure on you to finally absorb the money which you deserve and in the end uh, we we need to put pressure on you to, uh, to finally pay the bills. Secondly, being the uh, first year of, uh, after the European elections means that we need to hear the voice of the people who went voting. The participation rate was higher than it was five years ago. And young people went to vote. We cannot tell young people that we have less money to tackle youth unemployment as Council proposes to cut by 116 million euros the amounts uh, to prevent youth unemployment. We cannot tell young people that there is less money for uh, tackling climate change because they care about the future of their planet. We cannot tell them that we cannot finance Erasmus properly. We cannot tell farmers who went out to vote that there is less money. This is why let's work together, members of Parliament, Commission and Council, to make sure that we identify the right priorities, we allocate enough resources and make sure that the money is well spent. Thank you very much.